Hey everyone, in this video we will see how you can create a infinite scrolling website. So you might have seen some like infinite scrolling websites or where the uh, website scroll is in a loop. So whenever you scroll down, you can see in this example as I am showing you right now, you can see whenever this scroll bar touches the end, you can see it just goes to the top. So it is a infinite scroll and similarly if I just scroll it upwards, when it just reaches the top, you can see it now starts from the bottom so it's the direction of it is from the both ways okay so either you are scrolling upwards or you are scrolling downwards it will create an infinite effect and it is a pretty cool effect if you want to add in your website or any portfolio if you want you can do this and it will look kind of cool so in this video we will see exactly how you can do that so let's head to the vs code and see how you can achieve this effect Alright, so I am on my VS Code right now. So first of all, we will create a boilerplate for the HTML. Alright, after that we will write some HTML. So I will create a S2 tag and I will write over here a lot of let's say 10 uh, words and I will just copy it down couple of times to like make a scroll bar on the right side and just add a CSS as well to make a gap between them. So first of all, I will just give the margin of padding 0 to all the elements all right and then i'll just target the s2 element and i will write over here margin top let's say 5 rm and similarly i will do it uh, for the bottom okay and the font size i will change that as well to let's say 2 rm that's it that's all the html and CSS we want let's see our website what it is looking like so let's okay so yeah so it is looking something like this and now let's create our infinite scrolling effect now you can see there is no scrolling effect right now there is no infinite scrolling effect so let's see so to do that we need to create a script tag because it is possible with the help of javascript only here we will create two variables first the first one will be the total height of the website so we need to get the total height of the website not only this height but the total height so that's the, this the, the scroll height okay so to get that you can simply first of all let's say write a variable called website height and this will be equal to document dot document element dot scroll height so this is how you can get the whole height of a website and similarly i will write the window height button because we also want to know the height of our window okay and then here i will simply write window dot inner height that's it. that's how you can get the window height now that's all the variables we want now let's write our main function which is window dot element listener okay and here instead of scroll you might guess it like we are using scroll but if instead of we are using wheel because we need to detect that whether the user is scrolling upwards or downwards so based on that only we will create this infinite um, effect so i will write over here a function let's write quickly and then inside it i will pass an argument of e okay and i will make another function called handle scroll and pass the argument same as e and i will make this function over here so i will make this function handle scroll an argument of e and then i will write over here if e dot delta y okay so if e dot delta y is greater than zero so this is delta y is used to detect whether the user is scrolling upwards or downwards so here if the delta y is greater than zero which means the user is scrolling upwards okay and similarly else we can write else the user is scrolling downwards okay so here downwards let's see it in action whether it is working or not i will inspect it and open the console on the right side you can see i'm scrolling downwards okay so it is the movement is okay so the movement is inverse so this will come over here and this will come over here all right now it will work great so i am moving downward and it is saying downwards okay and i'm moving upwards all right so great now we need to detect whether the movement is ended or not so to do that we need to create one more if statement over here 
if website height minus window height is equal to um, window okay window dot scroll y so scroll y then we can say the user has reached the bottom okay and we can simply redirect it to the top how we can do that window dot scroll to so this is the function we need to redirect the user to the top scroll to 0 comma 0 the first is x axis and the second is y axis so the y axis is important so y should be 0 now let's see it in action whether the like whenever the user reaches the end so this is the code when the user reaches the end uh, it will be redirected to the top so let's see it i am reaching the end and you can see our infinite website is ready the only thing left is to do the same for the upward movement as well you can see i am not uh, like getting an infinite scrolling effect while scrolling upwards so i will simply uh, write the same thing here but it will have a different logic i will write over here window dot scroll y okay same thing scroll y is equal to zero then we can say the user is at the top so we can simply write window dot scroll to the same function to redirect the user and here i will write zero comma but what will be the value for the y axis it will be the website height because that's the uh, like the bottom most height for the website so our code is done now let's review the page you can see i am moving downwards and i have a infinite scroll effect downwards for the upwards yep as you can see i have for the upwards movement as well so yeah guys this is a very quick video on how you can create an infinite loop or infinite scroll effect in your website so i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any comments you can share it down in the comments below if you have any idea which i might make a video on let me know that as well in the comments and yeah guys like the video subscribe to my channel it will help me a lot that's it for this video guys i will see you in the next one